Okay, where do I put it? Yeah. <gasps> Did Sam Smith just release a new song? No, you can't play it. I don't want to do it. Fire on Fire? I've never heard of that song. Guys, did he just release a new song that we don't know about? And Miley Cyrus did a cover of No Tears Left to Cry. What is this? It's like Christmas came five months earlier this year, am I right? Okay, so. Please go over some. Hey guys! So. Eight o'clock, which means we're going live. It's like day number fifteen or ten. Yeah, something like that. It's been every day for I think a week and a half. I have face mask stuff on my zits. Kiss ya, my friend. I don't think you can even see it. Yeah, so we're in a different setting today. We're in our office. So it might be a little echoey because we're redoing that side of it, so it's kind of empty. We're also redoing the behind us, which is not finished. I guess either. Oh, I hate splinters. Ugh, how bad. I'm the tweezers. Ugh. Hey guys. Hey William, David, Paul, Alex, Jaden, Nathan, Tom, Stephen, Randy from Oregon. Veronica, Zach, and Edwards, and you have the flu, I'm so sorry. We got Michael and Timothy, Zach and Christian, Emily, you Veronica, you did. Oh. Brawl Stars, my name is Sebastian. Hi, Sebastian. Hey guys, thanks for joining everybody. We just sat down with our first glass of wine for tonight. Yes, we did. It has been the ugliest day here today. It was kind of pretty the last couple days, and then out of nowhere, we woke up today. It was raining all night, and it's been raining all day, and that's what normally happens in this part of Tennessee where we live around Christmas the last couple of years. It's just been very wet and rainy. It's not even been that cold. It's just been... Hey, Emily. Hey, Nick. How's it going tonight? So, what is tonight? Thursday? Mm -hmm. So, Friday Eve. So, Thomas is off tomorrow. And we yes. I'm sorry, guys, this splinter is driving me nuts. I'm probably going to do it. Jose said, mm -hmm. thank you so much for shouting me out last time. You're welcome. Thanks for watching. Just got back from skiing today. Oh, had fun. Jaden, where did you go skiing at? That sounds so much fun. I've never been. I, I've been, but it's been a long time since I've done it. Good evening, Paul. Yeah, so... But yeah, so today Thomas had to work, and then my friend Dixie came over and brought her grandkids so that I could meet them. And we hung out and talked, and then I got ready and went to go to the post office and realize that I had my wallet in Thomas's car. I was also going to get lunch, but I couldn't do it. Oh, Boone, North Carolina, up in the Boone. That's where I went snowboarding for the first and second time. That's cool, so you must not be too far. We're only about four hours from uh, Boone, North Carolina. I oh, so Jaden went to Winter Park in Colorado. That is definitely far from us. Grew up up yesterday, staying until Sunday. That's so fun. Hello from India. Oh my goodness. Hit, Hitesh. Is it hit, Hitesh? What time is it in India right now? Hey, Gregory. Hey, Greg. Um, what else? Let's see. I haven't seen Sapna on yet. I wonder if she probably doesn't know that we're live. I wonder if she's awake. I know, it's true. Oh my gosh, it's 6.30 a.m. So are you not, are you waking up early or are you staying up late? That is the question. Yeah, I'll just go. I'll be there. I need tweezers. PJ has a splitter. You're just tuning in. PJ has a splitter in his finger. He's going to move some tweezers to get it out. 
had Swedish pancakes with lingonberries this morning. Greg, what is... What are Swedish pancakes? What's the difference between those and the regular pancakes? I will have you know, I love pancakes. They're my favorite breakfast food, so I would love to get the recipe for Swedish pancakes. Uh, let's see. I just woke up. I got to study. Oh, good luck. What are you studying for? Jaden said, I lied just a little bit. I actually went snow biking for the first time. Oh my gosh, that sounds just as fun. Um, Tom, I love your home. I just bought one and going to start redoing it. Hope it comes out as yours. Aw, can't wait to see. He sent us some pictures. Roger says, good evening, guys. I have friends who live in Hickson. Been down there a few, to visit a few times. It is so beautiful in that area. I think so, oh, wow. too. Timothy said, cool globe in the back. Thank you. We actually found an abandoned house when we were first getting together. Mm-hmm. Eight years ago. Oh, wow. There's nothing more rewarding than pulling out a splinter. Oh. Okay. You ready to chat me here? A car alarm. I hope it's not on my car. Oh. Is this, well, it's not going off. TJ's gonna go check on my car right now. Just waiting to see. Was it? I mean, I don't think so. Is your car off? Is it lost? It's not going off anymore. I think it's lost. Must be your neighbor. Yeah. I'm gonna lie to you just to be safe. Okay. So, I'm, I'm studying for some interesting exam to get in the med college. Hopefully, I pass. I hope you pass too. And said thanks for the shout out. I love you guys. Chris Chen, PJ got shaved. Really show up his beautiful eyes. Aww. You know, I like him better shaved. Good shave. Did I show the yesterday? Okay. Yeah. Greg said Swedish pancakes are thinner and more eggy in taste. Mm -hmm. Lincoln, you have them? Yeah, they're kind of like um, creeps. Creeps. Lingonberries are crepes. crepes. Oh my god, so sorry. It's embarrassing. Our sweet little red berries from Sweden and our delicious on top of them. Google it and then get some. Greg, do you eat it with syrup or anything? Um, Dal, he said, Happy day, Thomas. Happy to see you both from French Polynesia. Wow. wow. DW said, Hi, Mark. I'm talking about to catch another live show as it's happening. Yep, we're glad you're here with us. Hi, Curtis. D. Roberts asked, How can I get one of your sweatshirts in the UK? Um, so we plan on shipping internationally in 2019, so check back sometime in January and we'll announce that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Jaden, thoughts on Thomas clean, PJ clean shaving versus beard of PJ. Um, my grandma used to make Swedish pancakes while I slept over at her house growing up. They're like really thin and delicious. Thanks, Nate, for this. They do sound good. Mm-hmm. Lady Gaga rocks asks if we watch RuPaul's Drag Race. We are not watching it. Our friends keep telling us that we've got to start. So maybe we'll start. I think we finally have the channel that it's on. I think so too. Veronica said that she's Swedish and the pancakes are really good. Hey, Evan. Hey, Evan. Oh my gosh. Hi, hey, Mom. Mom. She loves you guys and says hi. Oh my God. Hi, Miss. Is it Prosser or Prosser? Are we saying that right? Um, Jose, I love you guys so much. Greg said you can eat them with maple syrup. I like them best with butter and lemon berries. Yeah. Oh, exciting news! So on the update on the land, I don't think we did. We didn't mention that we did it yesterday. Did we? So we made an offer yesterday on the piece of property that we've been talking about, the one that we want to switch to for the cottages. Yeah. So stay tuned. We're supposed to find out today. They only have until 10 p.m. tonight to respond whether they're going to accept, counter, or reject it. It's a low ball offer, so I don't know. It is. Doing. We are so excited, guys. Yeah. You need to buy some. Did you already know? No. Chelsea asked, any advice on meeting my girlfriend's parents on Christmas? We put this off, and now it's making me a little anxious. LOL. Mm. Well, just know that every major moment in life you're going to be nervous about. So accept it, embrace it. And hope for the best. Christmas is a big holiday. It's kind of 
intimidating that you're meeting them for the first time on Christmas. Yeah, I'm sure it'll go well. Yeah, I think it will. Let us know how it goes next time after after Christmas and come back here on live. Yeah. Craig said he's in really great shape. I really think you look even more handsome. Aw, thank you, Gregory. Hey, Craig. Roger said, Thomas, did you study design in school? No, I just spend a lot of time on Pinterest and design blog. I, just, I love design, we both do. Calvin said, too many Norwegians, this part of Minnesota, we are having Lutefisk. <laughs> and let's see. Okay, Calvin, you need to send us the recipes on those because those sound delicious. Hi from Brazil. Eduardo. Michael, how's my finish? Thank you, Michael. We're excited. Hopefully, it works out. If it doesn't work out this summer, we're going to wait another month and then make another offer. And we could make an offer, like counter offer them, but. I think they need a little bit more time to realize. I don't think the, the land is priced right. I think it's overpriced currently, which is why our offer is so low, but we'll see. Read Jaden's. Jaden, if you had to choose one other country to live in for the rest of your lives, what would it be? I think we both know that. The UK? <clears throat> we probably want to be somewhere around Europe, in Europe, around Europe, so country somewhere in that vicinity just because we fell in love with Amsterdam when we went up and so I think we'd be happy in any like relatively large city in that area. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Just saw today that a boy I'm interested in followed on and so that's a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh that's um um it's cool to be that's, why am I blanking on this? We had, uh... Drew? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Drew. Drew, isn't that you? I can't remember if that was your sure. handle or not, but I think it is. Yeah, okay, it's true. Thought so. Um, who's most likely to be fitness on Christmas? PJ. Where, what? I don't know. Was, who's most likely to be fitness on Christmas? That's PJ. Yeah, I've started to do this at-home workout, just like push-up crunches and some free weights, dumbbells, and I'm just trying to commit to something because my fitness goals have not been very high <laughs> lately. I know, it's getting to the end of the year and the start of a new one, and this time of year always makes me want to start a new workout or just start working out in general, but who knows, that'll happen. Um, Federico said, when will you have kids? Can't wait to see you both with a child. Oh, me I, too. I think next two to five years is the, the plan. I mean, we would start now if somebody was like, here's a baby, but it's really expensive, so we just want to be financially ready. We also want to give the cottages enough time to be going for when we have kids. Mm -hmm. But if you know anybody that has a baby and they're just like, we need somebody to take this baby, you know. Let us know. Also. Um, okay. no, oh, did, did you guys see Fantastic Beasts 2? What did you think? Thanks, Raymond. That was okay. So you just read that from Matt. We did see it. We expected it to be bad because of the reviews, but I loved it. I know you. I can see the. Agree. I loved it, but I can see the review. The bad reviews points is what it was. Happy holidays from San Diego. Have you been to San Diego? We have not, but we definitely want to go. Maybe twenty nineteen. Jaden said, favorite Christmas dish. Mine is whatever has the most butter in it. Oh, um, yeah. You got juice. Um, Christmas dish. Mine is my Aunt Lisa's crock pot stuffing. We actually made it this year for Thanksgiving, but it's always my favorite. It's so it's like yeah. cornbread and bread and chicken and sage and tons of butter, salt, pepper, garlic. It's really good. It is good. Onions. Super and you put it all in a crock pot. And cook it for like hours and it's so yummy. What about you? Oh, your mom's block of balls, not say. Like those two, I have savory and sweet. Yeah, I don't know. We don't really do Christmas dishes, but I do love her baklava. Well, she makes it every year. Which songs you've been listening to, guys? So right now I'm listening to Ariana Grande uh, Imagine. That's my song that is like every day on repeat. I don't have one right now. Roger said you should plan a trip to Germany. 
you're like, yes. my mom said, oh, MG, they're wine people. I need to meet them too. Uh, yes, we are definitely wine people. And then you have to try the Seven Moons wine. We're actually drinking it right now. Yes. It's really good. Do both, do both of you work out weekly? No, I haven't worked out in so long. I really want to start again next year. Sick. That sounds good, Greg. That does sound good. Hi, guys from Columbia. Hey, Happy holidays from Ventura, California. Hey, Rebecca. Rebecca. Carpenter. Is that Rebecca that sent us the Christmas ornament? Rebecca, are you the one that sent the Christmas ornament? I can't remember if it's you or not. And Thomas also couldn't remember if we posted that on our story. I don't think we did. We posted it on our story. I don't think we did. I'm at work and I'm. JT, <laughs> just for y'all, non -nurse. I don't like nurse. I've always missed live because of the time zones. We'll have to break it up on weekends and start doing it earlier. Maybe yeah. like we'll do it at 8 a.m. on oh the ocean. You won't get up there early. No better time than the present, Thomas. <laughs> So true, girl. Ariana is my top artist of the year. Same, Nathan. My best friend got to meet her. Brother Frankie in New York City a few years ago. That's so cool. They just did a collab together and did a Christmas song. No. Her and Frankie did? Yeah. Who sings? I, it wasn't a Christmas song, but it was something. Yes, it was Rebecca. Oh my god, Rebecca. So we have to be honest with you about oh, something. Rebecca. So we got your Christmas ornament. I'm gonna go grab it. Okay. Pause that story, Rebecca. We're gonna talk about Sensei for a second. Because Eduardo said, have you ever seen Sensei? If yes, do you like it? Yes. We were obsessed with Sensei Eduardo. We it was our favorite Netflix show, and we were absolutely devastated when they canceled it. We could not believe it. I'm hoping my switch would arrive today. I'm impatient and been waiting to Netflix and wine with it. JT, yes! Send us a picture whenever you Netflix and wine and we'll post it on our story. Uh, let's see. Okay. No. Okay, Rebecca, this is resuming the ornament story. Before I show you the ornament, I want to do a little background. Because, so Rebecca has been following us on Instagram, and this summer we found a mouse that his sister had trapped on one of those sticky traps. And so I was glued to the trap, I had to get off the trap. So I put oil on the trap, got it off, and then like kept it for two weeks. Yeah. Anyways, we ended up letting the mouse go. So Rebecca sent us this sweet card with an ornament inside. It was like, since you guys didn't get to keep the mouse, I want to send you these handmade ornaments that are just two mice that are holding each other. We absolutely loved it so much, but we wanted to give Rebecca a shout out on Instagram. And so we left the mouse on our kitchen island. And Alistair, I guess it's a good thing we didn't keep the real mouse. I'm looking at this because I'm, I'm up here. Yeah. I guess it's a good thing that we didn't keep the real mouse because Alistair thought that it was a real mouse and he killed it. Ugh. So we uh, ripped all the legs off of it. So we're still keeping it because it's so special to us, especially Rebecca since you sent it to us. But it is still so cute, and we're gonna put it all back together somehow. We could definitely connect this, because yeah, we could connect them. Yeah, he really got to it, Rebecca. But mm, we're gonna so keep sorry. we're gonna keep it forever. It's currently been sitting in our bedroom in our nightstand because we obviously are gonna keep it. Yes, thank even you. Though, thank you so much, Rebecca. And now, we, so even fun. though it did get destroyed, you can still tell what it is, but now it even has more like sentimental, like, I don't know. Because Alistair never got his chance to, to kill, the, kill the real mouse, thank so, God. So we went for the So we went for the next best thing, and we are so grateful that you sent it to us because we absolutely love it, and it's so cute. So yes. that's the story of the mouse ornament. Mm -hmm. okay. Sadly. So Nathan wants to know what Harry Potter houses are you guys from? I am a Hufflepuff. JT said, I'm hoping my foot should arrive today. I'm, I'm sure. Oh, you did it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we are caught up. 
trying to think when his widow went out. So uh, I've sent out, I typically send out the sweatshirts the day after I get the orders, unless we it falls on like a Friday, and then they usually go out the Monday after. Yeah. Hey, Norma. Hey, Norma. He Tesh said, I'm new here, so I need to watch all of your videos. Yes. Yes. We've been doing YouTube for a couple years now, so we have a lot to catch up on. If you don't watch Manifest, you should. I check it out. You know, Matt, we started Manifest, and it is good. We just haven't, we've watched maybe two or three episodes. And so, Seb, what's the last Netflix series you checked out? So, we started Mind Hunter, and I finished it. He still has to finish it. Before that, it was that, what's that Western movie? Sabrina. Oh, wait, that movie. Or, yeah, movie show. Um, the Ballad of Buster Scruggs. That's a movie. Yeah, but it's broken up into segments, so it seems like it's a series. And then before that was Sabrina. Before that was... The Haunting of Hill House. Before that was... I don't know. Um, what is the one show that we've been watching for a long time? Shameless. Shameless. We finished it finally. Have you guys ever watched The Marvelous Mrs. Mock Maisel? We have not watched that yet, David. I want to so badly. I don't think PJ would get into it, though. I don't know. I'm going to turn my Wi-Fi off. I feel like it's messing with me. Yeah, it did fix that. Well, no, this goes in and out. See, it's so kind of iffy. Norman's been catching up on our blog. Very articulate. Love the stories. Oh, Aww, thank you. Thanks for reading, Norma. Rebecca, ha, ha, ha. Well, now we know that Alistair is a mouser. A mouser, <laughs> yes. He yeah. Is. He is so I was funny. so furious. Because whenever we walk, it literally happened in like five minutes. It was sitting on the, the island, and I walked in, and I, I found one of these, and I'm like, what the heck is this thing? It was one of their legs. And then I finally put it together because he was chewing on the other leg. But we're going to keep it forever. Oh, and look at the devil. Speak of the devil. Look at the devil. Speak of the devil. He's right here. Aww. Whenever I'm up here, he likes to come up here and sit on my lap. Oh my god. Uh, Deer said, what do you think about Shameless? People tell me that I look like Lip Gallagher all the time. I can see that. I have been stopped in the streets in NYC and... <laughs> oh wow! It's good. It's definitely one of those shows that it's easily like we started it and immediately we're like hooked. And there's seven seasons, so there's there's eight on there now. We just watched eight one, I think. Well, yeah, there's a bunch, so you, you can you always have a show to watch. We watched it throughout the year, though. So it is. It took us a year. To... We started it last December, I think. Was it? No. Or last January. It was before because I wrote I wrote about it in the blog. Wow. Last year, yeah. <clears throat> he wants to come up here. He's trying. Come here, little baby. Hey, Jody. He wants to. Come here. Come here, Alistair. Eight seasons. The ninth one just is on Showtime right now, I think. Here's a little boy. Um, Jaden said, what are the framed newspaper articles? So we're about to do a frame wall back here, and these are like old New York Times. So this one is from or 1808. This one's from 1807. We have a book of them and then we just rip out the pages and cut them out. We're gonna do a lot of them. And the wall behind this. Or, or, or the, we don't know yet. I love New Will and Grace, Greg. Yep. And Nathan said, what is the sound you love the most? Oh goodness, I don't know. That's a good question. Yeah, I don't know that one's hard. Maybe Alistair Curtin. I didn't work on it as a Starbucks barista. It was so much fun. Um, oh my gosh. We'll have to Google it though. I want to see that. We actually got to meet Adam on one of the cruise ships. Whenever we did a, a partnership with Celebrity, he was also there doing a partnership and he is so funny. We got to hang out yeah. for yeah. a little bit. With him and his boyfriend, they're so cute. His, his boyfriend's name is JP, so that was kind of fun. Yeah. PJ and JP, and kind of confusing. Jay has said, ever gone anywhere in Asia or plans to go? So, we have not been. We plan on going in the spring of 2019, but it's not for sure yet. Any big trips planned for next year? Also, where in the world is your dream destination? 
So we have nothing booked yet, but we have tentative plans to go to Asia in spring. We're also possibly planning to do an Italy trip. And then I think honestly, currently our dream destination would be somewhere in Europe. Yeah. Really anywhere. And then Australia would be another one, New Zealand. I keep seeing that um, advertisement with that celebrity. What's her name? She was in Jurassic Park. Or the new ones. Lord, oh, um, her dad's an actor. Bryce Dallas Howard. She keeps the director. She keeps well, he was an actor too, but she keeps promoting New Zealand, and it makes me really want to go. I missed your live last night. First one that I had missed so far. I was so upset. I thought I had done. Oh, thanks, Aww, Dylan. Thank you, Dylan. Yeah, we we try to go live every day at eight o'clock. That's the plan, anyways. Until we slow down. Gus Kimworthy seems like he would be a hoot to be around, so having Gus and Adam together would be a R-O-F-L time. I'm rolling on the floor laughing. I agree with that. That would be fun. Have you guys ever been to Reed? We've not met Gus, but we've met his uh, boyfriend in San Francisco when we met. It was like two minutes. The land down under will change your life. Proud Ozzy. Aww. Oh. Is that Michael that we sent a sweatshirt to? I recognize the last name, or I think I know your name. He's been on here. He's been on our lives. I'm pretty yeah. sure that's Nicole. Can you guys hear him purring? Which other two Would you, you guys go to Paris in the future? Yes. Yeah, that is Michael. I thought it was you. Aww. I wrote out your bag. Um, Have you all, oh, oh, Paris. Yes, I want to go to Paris next year. Have you all watched Dirty John on Bravo? Really worth watching. Uh, Dirty John, Dirty John, Dirty John. We haven't watched it, but we downloaded the podcast, and I'm on oh. episode two. It's good so far. I'm on episode, like, four. It's, yeah, it's really good. I didn't know it was on Bravo, so can we watch it on demand? I think so. We Bonnie should, Britton is in it. No, we should see if we can. But maybe we should listen to the podcast first. She Actually, I'd rather just watch it. Yeah, me too. Alistair is, like, eight months old. What is your favorite time of day? My favorite time of day, Nathan, is early in the morning when I first wake up. Rebecca said, I think you guys would really like Ireland. It's beautiful. Honestly, that's another bucket list place. I definitely want to go there, too. It seems like it'd be beautiful. JT has a three-hour long job interview coming up. Whoa. Oh. I've, heard, I've never heard of that before. Oh, that's scary. Well, good luck. Good luck. Good luck. You'll knock it out of the park. Greg said, make sure to go to the Louvre when we go to Paris. Yeah, that's, we definitely, definitely want to go. And I want to be able to sing the Lord's song the whole time that I'm in there. Uh, I want to go to Scotland sometime. That would be a fun place to go to. I don't know what my ancestry is. I think I'm Scottish. McKay is, I think, Scottish. Irish or Scottish. It's one or the other. Alistair looks like, Alistair looks just like my cat. Dwayne. Except Dwayne is 19 pounds. Oh, poor Dwayne. Oh, goodness. He's like our Meryl. Meryl likes to eat. Yeah, our dog. Tonight she got into the dog food and ate until we like control her food because she overeats and she got into it and ate so much that she stopped eating, which is not a good sign because that means she ate a lot. And now when we pick her up, she's like, Urgh. well, even her stomach is huge right now. Favorite airline to fly is um, Delta. Mm -hmm. And their parent company, KLM. In Air France, which, but we've not done Air France yet. We've done KLM and Delta, and we like them a lot. Are you bilingual? Nope, we're not. We both know words in Spanish, but it's, it breaks down to just words, mm -hmm. no conversation. Hello from Brooklyn. Hey, Burton. Oh, wow. Thomas's sister and her fian oh, fiance, her girlfriend, are in uh, New York City right now. PJ, you should try and find your family. Tartan? The flag that the Scots made for each of the clans. Actually, I looked at my family shield. Is that the same thing? But I don't know. I can't remember if it was Scottish or Irish. Nathan says, what do you like more, the beach or the mountains? Uh, Mike said, yes, Sky Team. We've only been to the Sky Lounge like once, and it was when we were in Atlanta. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. Hello from Scottsdale, Arizona. Hey, guys. Love PJ's cap. We'll have some more to sell. So this cap I got from TJ Maxx. 
Or did I get it from Target? Oh, wait, the black one? Um, it's know. a Timberland hat, though. But yeah, it's my favorite one. I bought one recently from J. Crew, but it's a little tight, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to switch out. Did you watch Aquaman? We haven't watched it yet, but we both went to. It's already out? Oh, the tart the tartan is the fabric that the kilts are made of. That's so cool. Were either of you good students? 4.0, flashcards, highlighters, the works. So I, in high school, was a horrible student. And it wasn't that I was a horrible student. It was just that I didn't know how to study. And it's crazy to think that you have to learn how to study. But high school, I was probably like a C student. And then it was my, I told myself that if I go to college, I, I have to do well. And in college, I was flashcards, studied eight hours for each test, read every chapter that they told us to read, and I made A's and B's. I didn't make one C in college, which I'm very proud of because I'll be the first to say I'm not book smart at all. For me to like make a good grade on a test means that I have to put in like double the amount of study hours than most people, but I did do well, and I took it seriously. Um, did you watch Aquaman? I have not. Have you, how do you, how do you start meeting people to start STH special? Right here, anywhere. Um, I think the biggest thing is just to put yourself out there. I think social media right now is a big way to meet people. Hello from just over the band line. Yeah, that's not far from us. Nathan, good luck on your phone interview for a cruise line position. Good luck. Let us know what comes of that. <laughs> just, I'm, at, I'm petting Alistair. Guys, he's been right here. <laughs> From here to the right. Mm. You can see his head, I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, good night, Ian. If you, good night, man. If you had one superpower, what would it be? I would want to be able to teleport to different places. Then the travel would be so easy. Probably telekinesis. See you, Nathan. Planning any gateways for next year? Not, we don't have anything planned yet, but we definitely have places we want to go. Good night to both. It's 1 30 in the morning in the UK. Good night, Aunt. Oh, you already said that. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm getting caught up. Um, Brad said some cities and towns have community groups as well that you can join everything from book clubs and game groups that are day friendly I love the idea of a book club we were going to maybe start a book club with one of our friend groups a far distance book club we talked about it with Nick Sorry. I would love to do that he's not care of Canada are you guys planning on to have a kid yes we are are you in the upstairs office? Yes, it is not finished, but we are upstairs in the office. Mm -hmm. Do you guys like eggnog? I don't think so. I don't think I've really tried it. The, yeah, the, the, like this, it. the thought of eggnog sounds like fun and Fancy. cheerful yeah. and like Christmassy. Nathan said I used to not have good study habits until high school, thanks to my dad who taught me them and helped me win or helped me well into college now. I have ADHD which doesn't help so I managed. Yeah. Same we do too Nathan. Totally get it. Y'all have any Netflix recommendations? Um first off Sabrina because it's amazing. Second ah you just did me. Ooh if you're into cooking a really fun show is fat, salt, acid heat. Get it. I don't want you to bite me. Why does he bite you? He's playing but oh. Um, that's a really cute, fun show. Favorite subject in school? Honestly, Jaden, I didn't like any of them, but if I had to pick one, it'd probably be history. Eduardo said to adopt him. We are in the process of wanting to adopt kids. So, yes. we've got three guest bedrooms. <laughs> Drew, your teacher produced that show on Netflix on uh, Fat Salt Acid Heat, I think. Oh, wow. Did you tell us that on Instagram already? I can't remember if you did. We're going to have to go pretty soon, guys. Because we're at 34 minutes. Yep, we just wanted to pop on here and say hi. We'll be back tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. I know it's Friday, so most of you are going to be doing your own thing. But if you want to come back and join us, 
We're going to be home doing something on, and we'll be on yacht. Yes. All right. Goodbye, guys. Have a wonderful Friday Eve. Yeah. Have a good weekend if you don't. We don't see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. We'll be here.